Hey guys, what's up? PZ with the GoTo Gamers here, and I'd like to welcome you guys all to IGS Day One. Now you might be wondering what IGS is, and that's the Indie Game Showcase. Um, I was kind of thinking of uh, you know a series, mini series I could do while waiting for games to come out and still playing other games and coming out with videos in between. And I realized you know that I really like indie games, which I've, I think I've said that before. And I have a lot of them, and I'm you know still still purchase indie games to this day if some come out that I'm very that I'm interested in. And um, so on day one what I'm gonna go ahead and do is this game is called flight adventure it was developed by virtual dynamic systems and it's retails for 240 Microsoft points and there is a demo or a trial as with all indie games um, so if you're at all skeptical about the game I'd suggest picking up the trial you're not gonna be able to fly on this map but there's another uh, smaller map an island map and um, you're able to fly around that for five to ten minutes I believe which is about a, like a standard trial time limit um, about this game it's a flight simulator and um, as far back as I can remember I've always had a flight simulator on my computer my dad is uh, was an avid flight simulator player so I just grew up playing those kind of games those are actually probably my first games that I played and so when I found out that there's one on the, the Xbox Live marketplace let alone an indie game for three dollars you know it was almost a no-brainer to go ahead and pick it up and I find uh, flight simulators very relaxing so if I find myself you know raging over an Xbox game or such as like Call of Duty or something like that or I'm just getting tired of all those all the BS and games and stuff like that I'll just go ahead and jump on here and you know go for a little uh, flight simulator flight and um you know there's nothing really stressful about it you just fly the plane the graphics in this game are decent um, I like them I mean this map this map is the the map that it comes with when you purchase this game this map is actually ginormous it takes a long, long time to fly from one side to the other. Um, and you can still fly in the smaller map once you've purchased the game, but, I mean, there's no real need to. Um, some complaints about this giant map is there's only one runway, so you have to navigate your way back to the main runway if you want to land. You can always do it bush pilot style and land in the grass, but, I mean, sometimes there's random bumps and jumps and all that kind of jazz. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Sorry guys for pausing, but um, I thought someone came home. Um, so yeah, you can always do it land bush pilot style, but which I do sometimes, just because I'm bored and want to land the the plane down on some grass. But I mean, um, which is fine. But if you want to land on a runway, you got to navigate your way all the way back. And there's no map, so I mean, it's hard to tell where the runway's at. Sometimes you'll be flying around forever. My review, um, what I would give the game based on like a a point scale out of ten, I'd give it an eight. I thought it was an ambitious game for an indie game, especially for the, the low price of $3. Um, I wish it would have came with a few more planes. I wish it would have had more runways for this huge, huge map. Um, but that's about all I have as in complaint-wise. This plane um, is like a Cessna plane, and so you can't really do tricks with it, although I have pulled off flips and um, barrel rolls and all that kind of stuff in the plane, which you end up stalling out and you have to pull up. So you have to make sure you're really, really, really high up in the sky that way you don't just fall out um, the takeoff for some reason it's really really bumpy uh, your controller is gonna just rattle like crazy same with the landing but um, I think you could turn off the rumble if you wanted to I haven't checked that you're able to position yourself outside of the cockpit inside the cockpit um, from the wings you could fly from the tower down below but um, as you guys have known I like uh, playing in first person so that's why I'm inside of the cockpit right now I'm going to be going ahead and landing the plane. If you guys haven't known, uh, we're doing the, we're redrawing the 200 subscriber winner because our, the guy didn't contact us and that's going to be open for, I think once the video's been out for a week, we're going to go ahead and close it down. So if you haven't entered for that, go ahead and enter for that guys. <clears throat> Let me know if you guys like this review. Um, if you guys liked it, I have a few more days planned and I can just keep going. Leave a like and a comment if you did like it. Um, like I said, I have I have two more videos already recorded, so there's three days for sure, but I'll go past that if you guys like what you're seeing. Once again, guys, this has been Peasy with the GoTo Gamers. I'd really like to thank you all for watching. If you stuck with me this far, leave a like and a comment if you like what you see and if you want me to continue. And I um, hope you guys have a good day. Talk to you guys later.